welcome to Nareshai Technologies. This is Hari Krishna. I am here to take uh, one of the very interesting topic, very important topic and most confusing topic. The topic is why string is immutable. This topic is a part of string handling chapter. In a string handling chapter, all we know string object is immutable. Now, there is a lot of confusion on this concept. Why string object given by sun as immutable? Everybody is telling this topic from a string pooling concept point of view. String is a comes under pooling concept. Then uh, when you create two string literal objects with the same data, only one object created, both variables are pointing to same object and finally, if you modify one object, another object get affected point is telling. Actually, from my point of view, string object is given as immutable not from string pooling concept point of view. Because string object is created as immutable, string pooling is implemented. Once again repeating, Sun Microsystem decided to implement immutable concept and further they have implemented pooling concept. Okay, right. Now, let me try to understand why string is immutable, the actual reason. Let me prepare a statement clearly. String object is given as immutable for storing this object as a key in collection map object. You know one of the map type object has table. To store string object as a key inside a map object, string is given as a immutable. Let me try to understand with example and again I will give summary on this topic. Okay? Now, let me try to understand one small example why string is immutable to store a string object as a key inside a map as a key inside a map they have given. Now, I am taking uh, one of the object called what uh, one of the collection object hash table ok hash table h t equal to new hash table I create hash table h t equal to new hash table. Uh, tell me because of this statement what happened background? Inside JVM software, HT variable is created because of hash table HT, HT variable created and hash table object created. Hash table object you can imagine as a table, imagine as a table as a key and value column. This is key column and it is value column. This is hash table object okay? and assume the reference of this object is a 10, 10. Now, the reference 10, 10 stored in HT, it is pointing to this object, right? Because of the statement has table HT equal to new has table, this is happen. Huh. Now, try to think, uh, I am going to store some entries inside this has table object. How to store um, HT dot put off, what the method to store put, put off. I want to store my name HK as 1, okay? HK is a key and 1 is value. And next I am taking ht dot put off some other name you take Ravi, Ravi comma 2, uh, ht dot put off uh, take some other name uh, something called uh, Raju, okay double quotes 3. Then what happen here this is first entry, second entry, third entry. Yeah, hash table does not maintain order according to hash code it will store that related to collection chapter. Okay? At this minute I wanted to understand only string is immutable. So, from that point of view I am not worrying about collection internal management. Okay? Directly for understanding purpose I want to store uh, it as a first entry HK1. Okay? Right. And next Ravi as second entry Ravi2 and third entry Raju, Raju and now what? 3. Okay, uh, try to observe now. Again, I am repeating. Uh, here, uh, please do not worry about the order storing. As table internal management, I am not following here. Our concentration is only string is immutable. Why? That is all. Uh, then try to observe. String objects along with the integer objects are stored. Uh, then after, I just wanted to retrieve the data. To retrieve data, what I should write? Uh, 
ऑब्जेक्ट वो बी जे इक्वल टू हेच टी डॉट गेट ऑफ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिट्रीव दिस वैल्यू वन यू मस्ट पास की ना देन आई हेव टू राइट डबल कोर्ट हेच के देन वेन आई रईट हेच टी डॉट गेट ऑफ हेच के ना फ्रम इयर कंट्रोल इज गोयिंग दिस गेट मेथड इज गोयिंग इन टू हेच टी ऑब्जेक्ट and then going for hk searching for the key hk and available mapping value 1 that value 1 will be returned to us that value 1 will be returned to us and that value 1 return and stored in obj variable system dot out dot println i am writing obj value here 1 display value 1 then try to understand here what i did first i created a hash table object and second i have stored stored entries inside hash table and then further i am trying to retrieve here you have to understand one small point after storing the objects after storing objects what i am doing i am modifying this hk listen how i am storing this hk not directly like this okay and not directly like this i am first taking that into one local variable what a string s1 equal to double quotes hk i have stored then now i am passing here s1 storing s1 is nothing but internal value stored hk stored now the dangerous point is coming observe now i am writing here s1 dot two upper case s1 dot two upper case i have called If I call S1 dot to upper case, then what happen? S1 pointing object is what H K, uh, which is nothing but stored in hash table. Then if you call to upper case method, the characters in the map object is changed to what capital H K. Uh, now try to repeat what the concept of why string is immutable. If a string object is not given as a immutable, the problem is when you store a string object as a a uh, key inside a hash table object and if you modify its data the modification stored in a same object if the modification stored in same object try to think uh, while retrieving the data what is the data you are getting uh, will you get a one or will you get null null why now you are searching with what key hk but uh, inside map object hk small hk available or not available not available then now get method going inside and verifying hk available or not small hk not available as a result coming back null and finally we will get a null if you perform any operation using this null we will get further null pointer exception sun micro system by keeping this point in their mind they have given a string as immutable so finally try to think string is given as a immutable because to use string as a string object as a key in a table map object table if it is given as a mutable then data modified in the same object if data modified in the same object retrieving time we are retrieving with the old value not with the modified value and finally we are trying we are going to get what null as a result then you may ask me a question sir i know that i have modified to upper case here why i'll use lower case i'll use upper case but one point you should understand in the project this much code is developed by one programmer this much code developed by one programmer and passing this ht object as argument to another programmer then at the time of project designing time all the key values are decided by your manager or team lead then team lead told to this programmer first programmer babu you have to store string name as small hk and the same point is informed to other programmer for retrieving retrieve with small hk so the program is developed everything gone everything completed then later some other time now this line came in the middle knownly or unknownly this programmer has written s1 dot to upper case because of this s1 dot to upper case if a data is modified in the same object then now the other programmer program retrieving program will get effect and the value returning is what null to solve this problem sun micro system given string object as immutable so final conclusion can you tell me if a string object is a string object is a given as a immutable to store string object as a key inside a map object if it is a immutable object the data will not be stored in the same object after storing the key the key is available in its original case even though you modified there is no effect while retrieving you are getting the value correctly the value one will come Okay, getting my point. Uh, then let us try to understand with immutable. This diagram is showing you as string is 
immutable. If string is immutable, this is the problem. To avoid the problem given as immutable. What is the meaning of immutable? Uh, now tell me, data stored in the same object and new object. Uh, immutable means data stored in new object. Uh, now, originally you have stored HK and then now you are retrieving the data as what? 1 and then now return value is 1 and displaying value is also what? 1. Now, assume this program develop in the middle this line came s1 dot 2 uppercase. Then now what happened? 2 uppercase method is going into this object collecting this hk value and creates background another object called uh, new uh, another new string object with the same data hk. Data modified in the collection or not modified here? not modified data not modified in the collection then when you call ht dot get method uh, now tell me with the same small hk what the value you are getting one so finally conclusion summary try to understand previous diagram and this diagram in a previous diagram if a string is given as immutable for a two uppercase method what happened uh, here data is modified get method getting null as a result if you uh, take the string as a immutable then the result not storing in the same object result storing in another object so that get method is getting its a uh, mapped value no problem null is not returning null pointer exception we are not getting so final conclusion string is given as a immutable for storing string object as a key inside a map object and further retrieving the mapped key value even though data modified. Okay. So, again repeating string is not given as a immutable because of pooling. String object is immutable that is why pooling is implemented. Please try to note this point. Okay. If this question is coming in the interview try to explain this diagram from hash table point of view damn sure interview will get so much good impression on you. you. You try to observe, sir you may ask me the question, sir how can you prove this point, your point is correct. I can tell you my point is correct from the point. If you observe string class and open string class and see in the string class there are three methods overridden in the string class. Number one equals method, number two hash code and number three compare to method. Why uh, equals and hash code methods are overridden for storing string object as a key inside map object here. If if string object do not want to store as a key in a map object then hash code and equals method no need to override. For proof one more proof you open string buffer object in string buffer object equals hash code methods are not there. Why string buffer object is not recommended to store inside map because if it is a modified then the data getting affected and value mapping value not coming na. So, that is why string object is given as a immutable to store as a key in the map and string buffer is given as a mutable not meant for storing. Okay. Right. So, this is the basic idea try to recollect once again and try to remember try to tell this diagram carefully in the interview room definitely get very good impression. Okay, na? Right. Thank you that is all for this video and in next video we are trying to understand what is the difference between immutable objects and mutable objects, thread safe object, non thread safe object so many other points we are going to learn. Subscribe to our Naresh IT channel for more 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 videos and interesting points internal points. Okay. Thank you.